right, I'm gonna play this. You got a couple uh, versions. This is a cool looking three quarter view. I think it's a very cool start. I like it. And then you got a front and side. So watching this, my main thing is moving forward. I feel like that goes a bit far. I think you want to stay in a bit more of a... It just seems like we're starting to overstretch. And I think you can go maybe, to maybe this far. It seems just a bit too much. It also seems like if I'm looking at the spacing of this, like you're starting to ease in. And if you put this on an actual path from uh, from A to B, you, this would start sliding. So just watch out your spacing. And I'm checking here. You can only check one side. I think it seems okay on the back side, but it could be a bit smoother on that reverse. So as that paw goes back, it only pops this way. It's not a massive pop up. You might be able to smooth that out a bit more. The main thing when I was watching this felt like, hmm, we're starting to overstretch these. They go a bit far back and the head feels a bit too IK. I would start adding a bit more nose up and down overlap, drag overlap, just a little bit, but more, um, that's an awesome scribble, uh, side to side so that the head tilts a bit more left and right. But as a whole, uh, it's very cool. So yeah, so to me, the, the main thing uh, I would say is just get a bit more life into the head. So it doesn't feel so IK-ish or something where it's, it's a little bit of up and down, which is cool, but I think you can just add more rotation to the head so it doesn't feel like this is translating in a separate way uh, compared to the body. So imagine like a top view and as, as the body will go left and right, the head feels like it's just translating left and right, but it's it should be pulled over so there's a bit of a an arc through the upper body and the head. So a little bit more of that. Watch out, the, this just seems a bit too far back. Watch out the arcs and the stops and the sliding, like I said here. And I think you could potentially even bring uh, the head a bit higher. That almost looks like a dog. It, it's almost low enough where it becomes like a stalking thing. I think you could be okay it might just be if you have a bit more up and down, like overall maybe it's this high and then a little bit more up and down just to loosen up that head a bit more. Um, detail thing, I would tweak the toes a bit. It feels like their spreading is a bit slow and late. Hold on, I was watching. You're... And even this, I wouldn't go as high. They're pretty, cats are pretty lazy in terms of that. It's good that you have this arc in here and that curvature, um, but they're they're really waiting till the very last moment and flop their paws, flip them into this. And having this up here and then coming down is a bit too much for me personally. I would, I would curl those in and really just uncurl right before the end. And then what I would do is on that impact, you can spread the toes a little bit, but not too much, but it's, a, it's that initial impact squash. But then as you go from here to here, that section is really when all the weight is on here, especially when this gets off the ground. So I would try to get the biggest spreading at that point. So it's a little bit on impact and then gradually one, two, three-ish frames, you got that the final spread and if I look at this here it just seems a bit too slow and too gradual just picky picky stuff and I don't know if you can I don't know how much you have control wise but this is also probably enveloping but there's something given how much this stretches the skin this section through here seems really unimpacted by all of this I don't know if you want to Bring up those hips a bit more, get a bit more separation. Not that it has to be crazy up and down, but 
anything with potentially a rotation to kind of influence this section. It's pretty vis visual about what's going on here. Maybe you have something here to give a bit more bounce or a bit more influence, but... And I think I would soften this. I will go up a bit higher, just a little bit more separation, but a bit of a softer drop. I think the drops right now are a bit fast. Blip, blip. And by a bit fast, I'm talking literally a frame or two, but it's just a, it's just a bit ploppy. Speak of ploppy, you can't see this, but my dog is right behind me right now. He's, he's doing his thing on this carpet. Um, yeah, and definitely loosening up the head a bit. You can see how much this moves here, which is cool, but it just feels like this is a separate piece. And then detail stuff with uh, the toes, ear flakes, all that good stuff. But it's already looking very, very cool. It's a cool feel to it, especially the three-quarter. All right, I'm rambling. I'm going to leave it here. Um, and that is it. As always, any questions, let me know via email. Uh, and I'm looking forward to your updates. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.